This is the 31st all-time meeting. Oregon State leads 21-9, though the Utes have won two of the last three after Oregon State had won 12 straight. Our officials are Robert Schofield, Benny Luna, and Nicole Leon. Here's Ben Duyani. Coming in from Arizona, where she played in the national championship game. Had five steals against Stanford in that game a couple of years ago. They all managed three. And the rebound pulled down by Palmer. And here come the Utes. You can already see there's a, a lot of action going down on the post right there. Each of these tried to get some space, and uh, Healy said no. Healy put Yaney in the air and then took a drive. And you've talked about how well she uses her shoulders, keeping both shoulders between her and the defender. Yeah, and she has such great use of, of both hands. She's very ambidextrous, has a great move coming down the lane, finishing with a nice little left hand hit. Yogi Berra said she would be a phoebeus. <laughs> Uchard is a little fall away. Her offensive game has come along. Last three games, very nearly a double double. Absolutely, and great patient. You know, it's like two boxers kind of feeling each other out right now. Who's going to attack first? Yeah, Utah want to go up attack, and Oregon State will want to play some broken up, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Coach Wood said the, the, the key for them this game was to make sure that they get back in transition in terms of the transition defense. They've done that, that very well thus, thus far. Weakens three at the top of the glass. Might have been affected by Shalexa Sarah. They reload with Palmer as the shot clock expires. And a third opportunity. And it's good. A three-pointer. McQueen. Kennedy McQueen, seven days ago against USC, she was five of eight on threes, and then against UCLA, one for five. You know, long shots equal long rebounds, and so uh, Utah really took advantage of it there on the offensive end. They didn't get the roll, and McQueen comes down with a rebound. Here on the drive, this match against Manning. Fall away over Mitrovic. Great reverse pivot. Read the defender. She was backed off of her. Just shot it right over. Very Great clever. Great touch herself. And there's that Want to get back and play five on five. Every defensive possession would be tough to do against the Utes. Turn around by Johnson. Gets the roll. Again, looks like Utah's game plan is to make sure that they're looking for shots and taking shots in the mid range. Alexis Aaron won't go for her. Aaron, former USC Trojan, former player at Texas Southern. Green into Johnson. Great extra pass to McQueen from Palmer. And McQueen pays it off. The yeah. second three. It's just beautiful ball movement. All Hawkins really looking to get set up, get her shot off off of that high post screen. She's got some really good looks thus far. Got a traveling violation on Mitrovic. Tamia Gardner. Beers and Gardner. A couple of five star freshmen, top ten recruits. They're coming off the bench. Second and third leading scores. The Beavers need to shore up is their transition defense and make sure that they're getting some pressure on uh, the shooters and the passers. Hansford open for three. She takes it. She's got it. Willie Hansford, the true freshman from De Pere, Wisconsin. Set point lead to Utah. Palmer on the drive. Beavers get back outside to Palmer. The three pointer rattles out twice and stays out. The vast the rim said, no, I do not want you. But it tried to go in, didn't it? And he got stripped. Taste of her own medicine. One of the steals leaders. Eakins at the other end. Take it back outside again. McQueen. There's the rebound. Ben Duyeni. Utah is excellent at attacking the hoop and creating opportunities. Absolutely. They're drawing the defense. And then they're kicking out to their shooters who are spotted up all day today during the shoot around. That's what they were working on. So I'm sure they'll see some of those go down. Is you young getting ready to check in for Utah? We'll check it. Well, you know, the scout, we're in February. Everyone knows tendencies at this point. So that most uh, opponents are probably locking down some of the things that she does well. Okay. Okay is right. Beers was in the paint, didn't come out. And she said, I'm wide open. I work on this shot. I'm taking it. And it was good. Good range from the angle. And this has the rebound. As we enter in the game at the point for Utah, there's a foul on Tamia Gardner. He's really attacking uh, on the, if uh, they're being defended on the perimeter, but also being patient and taking that mid-range game as well. First foul on Oregon State. Here's Reese. Back and down Beers. A lot of contact there. No foul. And Reese forces that ball home. Oregon State they get a lot of steals. No. We don't need to get 
a steal to put pressure on him. Uh, I have the advantage. I'm, I want this ball. Give it to me. Peach. We got Deji up. We should probably wait for the last shot here, even though they want to get the tempo up. Six seconds in the corner. Young. In the straight back iron. Vienna. They reload McQueen at the buzzer. Got it. Her third three of the quarter. A 22-9 Utah lead. Kennedy McQueen, nine first quarter points. Said, it's time for us to pivot to being great. She said she was tired of being competitive without being elite. That she wants her team to cut down next. That's exactly what she said. And, you know, she has great players to do it. They have a nice system. The players are bought in. Once you know you have a team that's bought in and everyone knows their role, uh, you know, this team is very impressive. I had to laugh the shoot around today. And on the back, it said J-H-T-B-H. It means just happy to be here. Now, Which is sarcasm. It's sarcasm, actually. Tongue in cheek, right? They're not just happy to be here. They believe that they have an outstanding team. This is the first time I've seen them play live. Uh, and they do. And they're not just happy to be here. They believe they belong here. Utah last week let USC get back in the game at home. Try to avoid that today. Yeah, that's one of the things that Coach Roberts talked about, that they lost their focus. Well yeah. done, the entry pass to Beers, who pays it off? Beers is is is, uh, is really doing well on that block. Well, that fought away through the Peely screen, but then committed the foul. Be a little disruptive, get your hands on them. Right away. Short ankle, Ron Callum, their play-by-play in action, so they really missed her mid-range game. Picked up by Johnson. Now, Aaron Mitrovic. Utah doing a nice job defensively on the drive. Benduyani. Yeah, they were really good in their half court offense there, moving the ball from side to side. Yaney get, then gets the wide open layup where there's a gap there. Uh, great ball movement, great teamwork. Her body. Nice, beautiful touch. Peely with the steal after the crowd wanted the foul when Hansford was knocked down. Peely dishes off the knee pin, shovel back to Johnson. Peely Johnson open for three. She takes it. She's got it. Jenna Johnson, 18% on threes coming in, 8 for 45. Uh, they it looked like they had it in transition. They didn't. They brought it back out, moved the ball around, and uh, had a wide open three. It takes time to learn that, though. It really does. It really does. You know, C Coach Ruick talked about, you know, listen, this team is peaking at the right time. Gardner's coming back to beat their to opponent. So you can see in 2016, uh, final four teams. He knows how to coach the game, that's for sure. Eight teams in the net rankings of 39 or better than Oregon State at 53. Pac-12. Uh, eight or nine teams in, you've got to do that in a non-conference game uh, time of the year. And they generally talk about winning three quarters of their non-conference games, but where they did 10% better than that as a conference. And Palmer makes the free throws. Got a foul inside. I want to see more of that. I think that they can really exploit the inside game post presence uh, where I think Oregon State has the advantage there. There's the first foul on Kennedy McQueen. Bottle up and lop it inside. There you want. There you go. First foul on Deja Young since Reagan Beers to the free throw line. They're averaging 13 and a half points per game. And you have Kiki Rice, UCLA. Morgan's chance great. Beers is uh, leading the nation in terms of freshmen with, you know, double doubles. Ten double doubles. So. Three forty left in the first half. Yep, yeah, there. Inside from Palmer to Peely. Spins against Beers. And a traveling violation. That's Tamia Gardner. Von Olhoffen for three. They need it. They get it. That's what they want. They want to hear this crowd. They need that support to get them over the hump here. 
At this point, they just want to cut the deficit in single digits, but they need some stops to do so. Offensive foul on Peely. Well, let's see what happens here if uh, the Beavs can get another shot to go down and get it, cut into this deficit. 15 footer, rattles home for Von Ohlhofer. It's a 12 point game. And that seems to be their staple play right now for Von Ohlhofer. Wide open for three, Deja Young. Truly a great answer. Kicking the ball up, defense does not get back in transition. They're not matched up five on five. Blacklock gets it to Manna. Offensive foul on Noah Manna, who can't believe it. That's two on her. We saw her drop a shoulder earlier when she was trapped. This time with an elbow. A 15 point game, under two minutes to go here in the first half. Utah leading. Hesitation on the drive, Palmer. Yeah, I think I've done the same thing, only Disneyland. We'll see if the Beavs go back to this high post on ball screen. Really, uh, Von Ohlhofen has really taken advantage of that against the Utes. And it falls. How did she get that shot off? A great job again. Gardner recognizes that she's triple team, kicks it out. Gart and uh, my goodness, Manon just gets in and throws it up. It gets a little lucky off the glass. Second foul on Deja Young. No, Manon trying to convert the three-point play. Love her story. She was an excellent high school basketball player. Valley Catholic High School, Beaverton, Oregon, and, and she went to University of San Francisco. There she is, and she didn't play basketball there. Was there as a freshman, and she decided she wanted to play college basketball. A coach she knew called Scott Ruick and said, "Hey, you know any D2 or D3 coaches up there that could work out this player I got?" And he said, "Well, I don't know. I need to see her first before I recommend her." And so he said, uh, "Noel came here for the workout. He liked her, and he offered her a chance to walk on. She did. Last year, offered a scholarship, and." This year, she's starting. There's a lot of action going in on that. <laughs> How about that? You know, you, she definitely earned that. Earned his trust. And just out here, she seems to just have a great, uh, she has great energy uh, and has the respect of her teammates. So if you get the respect of your teammates, you have the respect of your coach. Uh, you can do some good things. See, I learned from the coach. <laughs> Well, that's just uh, physics, right? <laughs> to McQueen, McQueen, and the rebound, Von Ohlhofen. Rich yeah. Burke along with Julie Rousseau, and the first time we've worked together in nine years. Nine years, that's amazing. I believe that. Time and, flies. And since then, you've got your doctorate, and now known commonly as Dr. J. Absolutely. I had to add that title. I said, I'll take that from the original Dr. J. <laughs> he did not go through the rigors, uh, uh, at least in the classroom, like I did. So <laughs> I thought I'd just go ahead and borrow it a little bit. Shot clock just ahead of the game clock. Virtually the same. Following by the whole half and then go. Meet your bitch. to put it back up. And she does. That's a great way to end the quarter going into halftime. They need that spark. They need to keep scoring. All right. Second half begins with Oregon State trailing it by 11. They've trailed by as many as 18. Man are looking to get inside the beer. Starting the second half. Kick it back outside. Black Lock's three. Rattles out. Oh, that would have been huge for the freshman Black Lock. And the crowd was anticipating the make. They were ready to roar. That's a great play. That was... Johnson tried to shuttle it to Peely. She lost it, got it back, and puts it in. How did she get the pass through three defenders and Peely come up with that with a great shot? No idea. Uh, nice concentration and great hands. Von Ohlhoffen, now Beers. Beers from 17 gets it to Dan. But I think it's a significant one to stop the momentum of the Beavers coming out the first, uh, in the second half. Palmer kick it back outside to Peely. Then she got there that often that she can hit it when she does. That time... No good, and the rebound for Gardner. Gardner playing with two fouls. Blacklock lobbing inside the Beers. Blocked from behind by Peely. Gets it back. Put it up. No good. Got great skilled players. They're going inside and really daring you, the Utes to defend them without fouling. So far, not successful by the Utes. Rocky Beers. I love that name. <laughs> I don't think it gets any better than that. The 18-point lead down to nine. Well, this is one of the things that Coach Roberts talked about, that she didn't want her team to kind of to, to keep being aggressive and not let, let the, uh, the Beans get back in. Peely had position. 
on the rebound. Coach Wood talked about completing the defensive possession with, with the box out. And so that's how the Utes are, are continuing to really take control. Leads the Pac-12, 10th in the nation, and 5th among Power 6 players in field goal percentage, 62%. Again, these are really in line on the high, high on ball screen action. So you saw that Mitchell was just looking for the double team and never came, and she had to kick it back out. Rebound Deacons. Deacons left over for three, takes it, and she gets it. The thing is, is that every player for Utah has the ability to bring the ball down the court, and so it's hard to match up defensively. Blacklock's three. Weak side rebound, Palmer. Nine point lead. He is back to 14 on the drive. And she gets hammered. You know, you have a lot of attention on Peely, rightfully so. Stop Peely and Neepkins. Uh, first and foremost. And so Neepkins is still doing her work out there. You throw on Jenna Johnson, who like Neepkins, is from Minnesota, both sophomores. Spin move by Gardner. And it in. And she worked hard for that. McQueen against Murata on the Peely screen. Side to Peely against Mitrovic, puts her in the air, left hand off the glass and good. And she's just unstoppable. You thought Jenna Johnson still in there with three fouls. And the Gardner, turn around from 15, doesn't go. And Johnson the board. It's a great move by Gardner. Just didn't seem to have her legs up under her to take that shot. But good move. And she's working against someone who's very experienced and very skilled. Third in the conference. Missing some time with injury. Back for Washington State. Peely leads the conference. The USC transfer. Then Robert said she fully bought into the system. Talked to her last year and said, we're not going to adjust to you. You need to adjust to us. You need to get into better condition so you can keep up. And she did. Gets it back. Five on the timer for Utah. Palmer always scoops it up. Another block by Mitrovic. Two in one possession. Mitrovic says, listen, Peely may have my number, but nobody else does. <laughs> UCLA, rough weekend last week. At the Mountain Schools. Drop the Bruins out of the top ten with a couple of losses. They could score without the clock moving. Get back into the game. I cannot be blamed for that miss shot. Unless I'm working with Eldridge Hasner, then, then, then it exists. Four of these fourth quarter leads get away from them this year, Oregon State. One in Arizona, one at Cal. They're in it with every team. I think Coach Wood said the only team that they did not play as well against was LSU earlier in the year. Didn't try to force it, get in too deep, just took what the defense gave her for the nice mid-range shot. Also can bring it out on the perimeter as well, so you can't just say she's a low-block player. She really can be effective at every level of play. Yeah, post player with guard skills, Alyssa Peely. That's for this year from USC. Alexis Aaron, Von Olhoffen for three, gets it. She was set up, her feet were set up, and she knew it was going in, halfway out of her hands. Defense drove on Hansford, picked up by Gardner. Deja Young, offensive foul. Eighth turnover on Utah. That was a, a hard hit, but no intent on Reese's part whatsoever. They leave on Ohoff and open for three, and she gets it again. Why well, would they leave me open? If you're going to leave me open, I'm going to take the shot. By the way. Hands out, palms upward. Absolutely. MJ style, Michael Jordan style, as you said, which today is... 223-23. Right. right. And that's, you know, everybody's been talking about this Michael Jordan's <laughs> yep. day, right? Uh -huh, so yeah. why not have a performance like that? So watch Von Olhoff and hits it, turns around. Huh? Nobody's guarding me. Why are they leave me open? <laughs> Three pointer doesn't go for Neepkins. Yeah, I didn't like that shot by Neepkins. I, I, I think that that was, was rushed. Inside the corner. She drives the foul. Driving it in or by passing it in, and they've been passing it in. Well, one of the things that I'm seeing, getting in deep early in the offense so that they can be um, an option for the team to go to. 
seven-point game. Utah's led by as many as 18, and they were rolling. Peely against Gardner. And if that's Gardner, that's her third. Her third. She's still in there. They're missing that front end of the of her free throws, her two free throws. That was her first trip to the line all season. Wow. I'd like to see her get to the free throw line and not more, be aggressive in that low post. Now rejects the screen. Back to Gardner who fumbled it. Oregon State turns it over. All the way deep is where you are stuck. I'm going to take this. Back to a 10 point game. We're about second point in the third quarter. Bono have it scooped to the hoop and puts it in. Inside the Peely against Gardner. Get go. Aaron the rebound. Good straight-up defense by Tamia Gardner. Absolutely. She stood her ground, hands were up, she had great defensive position, and defended without fouling. Final shot of the quarter for Oregon State. As they trail by eight, they trail by 11 at halftime. Gardner leads in to Young. And it won't go. It's an eight-point lead for the Utes. Nesbieta. Back in the game for Utah. Back up point guard. Here's P. Lee. Here's him to play off a little bit because of her ability to drive. And she still drives and gets the layup. I think that speaks to her speed, her foot speed. On Olhoffen. Catch and shoot. Won't fall. She was kind of moving as she went up. Yeah, didn't get her feet set quite well. But I love the action that they're running for her. That screen away from the ball. Johnson on the drive, blocked by Beers, foul on Beers. The crowd doesn't like it. That's her four. The official had a better look than we did. Beers out, Gardner back in, and Johnson to the free throw line. 78 percenter. Just when the Beavs make a run, the Utes respond. Yep. Faking as if she's going to do a reverse and then just coming back out on the same side. Black block turns Not it over. Times. Lead to McQueen. Around the Peely pick. Kick it back out to her. Digi Young knocks it down. That was wonderful execution. Oh my. Vieta. There she is. She was on Bob O'Hoffman and then went and got the steal when Yaney wasn't looking. Yaney. We're going to return the favor. They do Yaney at the other end. Put it up and in. Yaney had five steals against Stanford in the national championship game for Arizona a couple of years ago. Backdoor pass from McQueen to Peely. Won't go. Petrovic the rebound. Rips it away. And a foul on Peely. Kelsey Reese in for Utah. Bob Dimitrovich kick it back outside. Black block for three. Got it. Morgan State talked about the importance of no scoring drops and getting to 70 points. They're 51 right now. Right now, the pace favors the Beavers. You see it four personal fouls on Tamia Gardner. Queen for three. She had three of them in the first quarter, and that's it. Uh, we, we talked to J.R. Payne in preparation for our telecast on Sunday with Colorado here. We said, hey, you know, you and Lynn Roberts, I'm sure you want to beat each other's brains out on the court, but is there a sense of kinship with the Mountain Schools? Mitrovic with a bucket. The Beavs have done a great job of being calculated. They're taking their shot. If they get doubled, they're kicking it out to their shooters. Mitrovic sniffing a double-double again. Seven points and eight rebounds. Just missed a double-double her last three games. Eakins gets rid of it to Peely. They leave her open for three, and she drains it. Alyssa Peely. She continues to answer. As do the Utes as a team. Absolutely, absolutely. They're just extremely impressive. Blackwell. That ball comes out of her hand so smooth. It's like, almost like a, a straight arrow. Not a lot of height on it, but she is dialed in. True freshman, all-state player in Texas at Lubbock Cooper High School in Lubbock. And back to a seven-point game. Let's see if the Utes will answer again. Deep hit, hesitation. Johnson. Stepped on the baseline. And the Utes turn it over. 
for the 12th time to get Two and a half minutes left. Each lead by seven. Hadn't been below that since the first half. Yanny for three to cut it to four. It's a four-point game. Yanny said, leave me if you want. I make big shots. Inside to Peely. Peely against Mitrovic. Packing her down and gets it to go. Now she wants it all. The, and be, she responds once again. But the crowd is definitely in it. Gardner quick catch and shoot off the front iron. Yanny fighting for it with Johnson. The arrow points the way of Oregon State, and it's a hell ball. All the, the percentages go out the door. Blacklock gets it in to Bohoffen. Her three was tapped, I believe, by Palmer. And Von Olhoffen hits the floor hard. What a pocket pick again by Yaney. And she puts it up and misses it. Gets it back. Second opportunity. And it's a four-point game. You know, the Ukes need to set a screen here to help their, their ball handler get the ball up the court because Yaney is just dialed in defensively. First layup, that time doesn't go for Peely. Try that move. same move again. Yeah, that was a great move, though. Or to say could cut it to two or one this trip down the floor. Get a little bit more action, not just going inside to Peely where she can go one-on-one, -on -one, maybe move her around a little bit more. 87 points, all three steals in this fourth quarter. Working on Deja Young. And now Von Olhoffen against Palmer. Drives it in. Palmer slipped and lost her balance. And Von Olhoffen pays it off to make it a two-point game. Two-point game. I think Von Olhoffen may have gotten away with a little push up there, but it all worked. Fifteen to shoot, 35 left in the game. Two-point Utah lead. The pitch she called for drives it in. Mitrovic got a hand on it. Yeah, I would have liked to see her give that ball to Peely. Peely's been your go-to player all game long. I say watch out for Yaney. Because if Yaney doesn't like what's happening, she's going to put her head down and go to the basket. Black lock on the far corner. Yaney goes to work. Here we go back to that high on-ball screen. Flex action on the top. Going inside. You've got the mismatch because there was a switch. Yeah. The to tie the game with 10 seconds left. Palmer, Neepkins, Healy, Johnson, Young on the floor for Utah. It's Peely driving it against Mitrovic. Left hand, does it go? Tipped up, Peely has it. Timeout time by Oregon State with 2.8 seconds left after the rebound. They do Yaney. Mitrovic, Gardner, Von Olhoff, and Manning. And Yaney. And this time they do take out Vieta so that if there's a switch, they have a little more size. Right here, I would defend the on ball. I don't make it easy for Yaney to be able to take to, to pass the ball. Gardner blocked. Mitrovic lost it. Out of bounds, and we got overtime. <laughs> Mitrovic with a chance to win the game. How about the will of Ben Yaney in that fourth quarter? Incredible. Absolutely. And again, I'm not sure if she started or did not start that second half, but I think she's making the case. Coach, I need to be on this on this court at all times. <laughs> the 6-9 Mitrovic won the tip. Here's Gardner against Johnson. And that's an offensive foul against Gardner. You can see that a mile away. Absolutely. Johnson did a great job of getting her feet set, getting in front of her. Johnson trying to change that for three. Didn't do any with a rebound or fifth of the game. Yeah, the shots aren't falling like they were earlier in the game. Could be fatigue, but I do think that that was a great shot. It's a good Andy, decision. Andy on the drive in the first bucket of OT, and Oregon State has their first lead of the game. Well, and see. it comes 42 minutes into the game. Let's see if it tips the scale, gives them the confidence they need. Meepkins to answer and get the lead right back I want to I want to see Meepkins step up here. Uh, we know right now that Peely's having a tough time. She's getting doubled on the block. Here's your your, your go-to player again. See her step up. Scoop of the hoop by Yanny, who appears to be the go-to right now. Absolutely. She's unstoppable.
unstoppable. She too has figured out, you're going to sag off of me, I'm just going to keep backing you down. By the way, sixth straight 20-point game for Alyssa Peely. She's got 21, her average 20.3 tops in the Pac-12. Palmer inside to Peely, no look underneath to Johnson. Kick it back outside to Neepkins. On the drive, reverse lay up and in. Beautiful play, Neepkins. She used the reverse layup to take away the, the block that Mitro, Mitrovic has been doing. That was a great play. Very, very heady. Back and forth we go. One point lead for Utah. And Gardner throws it away. That's a staple, staple play. So right here, Gardner thinks that she's got um, old Hoffman wide open, but Peely says, no, nope, I'm here. I'll take that. Neepkins makes the first. Neepkins with 16 points now. Two of five on threes, by the way. She came in tops in the Pac-12 and fifth among power conference players. Blacklock inside the Beers. Beers first touch in a while. Left hand and gets it to go home. Bumble rejects the screen. And it's out of bounds. Back to Utah with 10 seconds to shoot. Crowd doesn't like it. They thought that Palmer touched it last. And they're going to check. They're going to check. Coach Roberts, she does the Jordan shrug as well. Like, what's going on with this? It was yeah. a foul. And then she said, yeah, it's a foul. She's like, okay, all right, keep playing. Hoffman now, defended by McQueen. Under one minute to go here in the overtime. Blacklock on the drive, and a block by Neepkins who comes down with it. One point, you lead, and the ball. Neepkins has been big time in, this, in the overtime play, both defensively and offensively. I say keep going to her. The block and the steal for Neepkins. She's got the ball. Now, Hoffman, hand in to try to get the steal. Five to shoot. 22 seconds left in the overtime. Palmer finding Peely. Goes up and we get a foul. Janey thought she had all ball there. That was a good call. Peely an 80 percenter. Four of six of the line. Now five of seven tonight. One more to increase the lead to three. But if all else fails and you have a, a good look at the three, you take it. Utah led by 18. Trying to escape with a victory. Ben Duyani kick it outside. Gardner for three to tie. Doesn't go. Reagan Beers. They still have some time. That one doesn't go for Von Ohoffen. Five seconds left. Von Ohoffen again doesn't go. Tipped by Gardner. One second left. Tries to heave it up. A foul call. Foul on Alyssa Peely. Benny Luna says three. It's three free throws, and she needs all three to tie the game. So Peely here is 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 trying to foul, but is she? What did she get her get the shot up? To tie the game with 0. .3 seconds left oh. and send it into a second overtime. 0. .4, they just added, um, and they made sure that her feet were behind the three-point line before they confirmed that she's shooting three. Wow, what a spot here. Well, let's see what the freshman's made of. Has to have all three. <laughs> Misses the first. Yeah, I thought that was rushed. She needs to just breathe calm down. So this, this one has to go in. This one has to go in. And she's got it. All right, what do you do now? So Coach Roberts looks like she's calling timeout. Make sure that they're prepared <laughs> to box out. Taking up... Taking on the mantle and, and saying, hey, I'm going to take us to victory. Seven points in the OT. Okay, now Gardner. they got to have the put back. Beers tips it up, and that's it. Utah, who led this game by 18 points, and let Oregon State force an overtime. They escape with a 75-73 win.